Before we start, please check that you already subscribed and notifications are on. Let's take a look at the fastest news of the past week. There was video circulating on Instagram and TikTok and actually all over platforms of this guy, uh, which went kind of viral, that made my fast opening technique look like a <laughs> opening. Let's take a look really quick. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what open a, opener he's using. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> this is beautiful. He opened, I'm pretty sure, 25 for 26 bottles. I don't even know if it was a uh, competition or if it was just some kind of work. But I really would love to know about more about this guy. So if you know anything about it, please let me know in the comments. Before that, the fastest uh, opening I've seen was from Christian Delpish. Let's take a look at this video really quick. Two, one, go! And now let's compare it one more time with this one. Absolutely incredible. Next news, Wayne Rock Johnson reveals Terramana tequila bottle design. He posted picture on his Instagram where by the way he have 170 million followers. So I guess he's not gonna be spending a lot of money on marketing, right? Terramana tequila was developed by Sieta Box Spirit. Sieta is uh, uh, Seven Box Spirits because Rock's production company called Seven Box Production. Uh, if you Rock's fan, you should know that uh, famous story when he started with only uh, $7 in his wallet. I kind of wonder how much I rock have now. So the tequila made at the Termana distillery in Jalisco, Mexico. Termana has designed to be the tequila of the people or tequila for the people. No, tequila of the people. It's really cool how the rock involved his audience in the process showing uh, pictures from the factory, like behind the scene pictures. It looks really, really nice. The brand will first launch in uh, Mexico and US and Canada with Termana Blanco for for $29.99 and Termana Reposada for $32.99, regular 750 milliliter bottle. It's fascinating to see the numbers when a celebrity started successful brand. Look at the success of Proper 12 Whiskey by Conor McGregor and the Aviation Gene by Ryan Reynolds. Also, just like in Miami right now during Super Bowl weekend, uh, I just seen that there's uh, Aaron Paul with Brian Cranston advertising their mezcal. But you guys let me know in the comments, what do you think when a celebrity starts a spirit would you try it? Would you switch it from your favorite brand just because you like their movies or music or how they fight? So I definitely would love to know your opinion on that. Next news, five bartenders charged uh, alongside owner of illegal Homewood Speakeasy. I'm pretty sure you get how it works. You need a license to operate a car, so you need a license to serve alcohol. When the county is not getting their uh, drink tax, so what's happening next? Undercover agents will appear at that place as your guest. That's exactly what happened there. I'm pretty sure the way it worked on the first floor, you could get, you, you paid $20 and get in and drink there. And on the second floor, you needed to pay $40. Enforcement made five visit uh, of the course of two months. I don't really know why it, it took them so long. Maybe they couldn't, they could just totally shut it down after like two or three times. <laughs> Maybe they just like to go there to hang out. I don't know, but they had to go there five times before they busted the place. So if you have this uh, entrepreneurial thoughts in your head to run illegal speakeasy, you should think twice uh, because the owner was charged with uh, 12 counts and soon we'll find out what kind of penalty he's facing. So it's actually like not that funny. <laughs> Next news, on January 30th uh, was one of the biggest flare bartending competitions in the world. And it's flare mania. Let me tell you that this was always considered the most professionally organized flare bartending competition in the world. The guys are on top of things when it comes to live view streaming. They pick just the best commentators, stage for competitors, uh, like pick up accommodations for competitors as well. They, they on top of things. Usually everybody wants to participate there and they fill up really quick. Uh, the numbers of competitors are actually so high. There is something like 60 or even more competitors from all over the world. Really impressive. And the top three are Alexander Stefan of first place, Denis Stefan of second, and Mark Poslužny from Poland got third place. I just wanted to also add, if you're a beginner and thinking to start um, competing, you should check out this competition. Uh, make sure, of course, they have advanced category and professional. But I think if you're planning to compete, that would be a great place to start. Next news. 
Registration open for two really big events in bar industry, nightclub bar show in Las Vegas and Brooklyn bar convent in New York. They're absolutely awesome when it comes to education, innovations and meeting industry leaders. And I'm going to be at both of them, so I'll see you there. I specifically wanted to mention these two just uh, because they're really important if you work in, in the bar industry. Nightclub bar show is happening for like more than 30 years and it's more for bar owners, bar managers, also for bartenders of course and uh, Brooklyn Bar Convent has been happening in Berlin for a really long time and in the past uh, two years they brought it to Brooklyn which has been really successful it was completely full with so many bartenders yes and that one is more for bartenders because you can see like uh, different competitions brands bring in uh, uh, influencers lots of great parties so highly recommend to check it out if you don't know where to find more information I will leave some links in the description for you to check out. Next news, uh, Liquor 43 or Orichata goes vegan with a new recipe. Great news for people like myself who are on plant-based diet. If you're not familiar, it's a fusion of the original Liquor 43 with a Spanish tiger nut and cinnamon flavor. Now is 100% uh, vegetable based and free of any lactose, any milk proteins. Yeah. Oh wait, uh, now we just need to have it in the United States because I've been waiting for it for like more than two years and we only have the original Liquor 43 but not Orichata. Come on Liquor 43, bring Orichata. Next news, we work to stop serving free beer and wine. To be honest, I'm not even surprised. The co-working giant has announced it will be ending free beer and wine service at all of its locations by the end of February according to uh, Business Insider. The company will be offering a variety of new non-alcoholic options like kombucha, seltzers, and cold brew coffee, which is a really good move. Next news, Tito's, now officially America's best-selling vodka. Tito's handmade vodka has overtaken Smirnoff as the best-selling vodka brand in the United States. Tito's now also the best-selling distilled spirit in the country. Really well done, Tito's, keep it up. I'm honestly not even surprised since uh, the way they market product is incredible. They put very attractive stands in liquor stores. You can't miss it anywhere where you go to Walmart or any liquor store. Doing great job promoting online and still people asking for Tito's vodka at the bar is like crazy. If you a bartender, and especially if you bartender somewhere in the United States, you know that anytime if somebody wants to uh, vodka tonic, they specifically asking for Tito's. Well done. Okay, so let's come back next week to see what are the best Super Bowl beer ads were and a lot of other news. Uh, please comment what are your thoughts on this new segment and if you guys would like to support this channel, please check links in the description and also merch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.